Does that look mostly brown to you? <laughs> so finally, one of the uh, the shiitake logs that I bought um, is mature. It started producing a ton of this brown stuff and looking kind of like it was like a mushroom, a deconstructed s'more. <laughs> it's like it's like chocolate covered mushroom here. But in any case, so I went ahead and this looks like it's going to be ready to go. So I went ahead and put it in the fridge overnight. I'm now going to cut open the bag. I got to put on some gloves. I'll save that for maybe not in the video. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and soak it in this water for four hours. That will hydrate this log. And then when it's done, it's going to, I get also going to set up the boom room and we're finally going to have some mushrooms going. Now I'm going to step over here into the darkness. None of these other quote unquote logs look ready to go. I mean, I see some brown developing, but um, yeah, I guess these aren't really ready yet. You know, they, they, North Spore, where I got these, explicitly say in their destruction, uh, destructions, blah, instructions that you, you should wait until, until that brown covers most of the, most of the substrate, most of the mycelium here, or, yeah, mycelium, since somebody recently made fun of how I pronounce it, just have it, it's not illiteracy. So, um, but this one definitely looks ready to go, because this one is like, chocolate covered so again we're going to cut it open we're going to soak it probably have to weigh it down because this will want to float so i'll put it in here weigh it down with like a plate or something soak it for four hours and then it should be hydrated enough to go into the boom room all right so we're going to go ahead and do that uh in a little bit i'll probably talk about that in the next probably do a quite a few of these vlogs in the coming days so um hang on to your butts because we'll kind of do one each day as the steps go along and hopefully hopefully it'll sprout really quick and we'll get lots of mushrooms. But it actually is kind of a good thing that not all of them start at once because I was a little nervous about having all these mushrooms ready to go at once and then not be able to use them all. At least this way, you know, if they, they mature in a staggered fashion, I can get them prepared. I won't have to shove them all in my refrigerator because there's not a whole lot of room in there. Um, and we can actually have a production that is very staggered too. Now this first round, I'm probably going to harvest a lot of the mushrooms to try to get spore prints, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to try to propagate my own just for the fun of it. So we'll definitely be talking about that in future vlogs, but, uh, in any case, yeah, exciting times. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe again. There's going to be a lot of vlogs coming as we finally, finally see the shiitake fruit and... I can give a full opinion of the boom room. Now I gotta go set that up and plug it in. So until next time, thanks for watching. And as always, thank you for joining me on this journey. Give this video a little thumbs up, would you?